It's been some incredible days, huh? Um, I'd like to reflect a little bit about what do we do when life is turned upside down? Um, When you look at the scriptures, there's many accounts in the Old Testament and in the New Testament of God's people facing tremendous challenges. And in every one of those accounts, God's people call on the Lord, and, uh, and the Lord, when the situation is turned upside down, the Lord reminds his people that he's not upside down. The Lord reminds his people that he is the foundation, that he is the rock. And then when life, we, we don't have the stability that we're looking for in life, that, that God and Jesus they are the stability. And um, I've been trying to keep myself informed as much as I can be informed on, on this health situation. And I've been watching TV and I've been listening to all kinds of different experts, all kinds of different people. And do you find yourself, when you look at it too much, that your level of anxiety and worry go up? Uh, I, I, I found that with myself, and every now and then I just have to I have to stop. I have to cut it off. And um, I was curious. I, I googled scripture verses in times of anxiety and worry, and I got a, a bunch came up. And I'd like to share some of them with you. And this is the God's God's words. Uh, the, these are not my words. And uh, see, see if this, the, these help me and to lower my anxiety and worry. Uh, the prophet Isaiah. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Psalms. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. A letter to the Philippians. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds. In Christ Jesus. The Gospel of John. Peace is what I leave with you. My own peace is what I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Uh, The second letter to Timothy. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The Psalms. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. Isaiah. But now this is what the Lord says, Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. The Psalms. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The prophet Joshua, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The prophet Isaiah, tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong and do not be afraid. God is coming to your rescue. The Psalms, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The gospel of Mark. Immediately he spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. 
Do not be afraid. Isaiah, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord your Redeemer. The Psalms, God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. And so those are all God's words and Jesus' words. And God, the Father, and Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, they want to offer us comfort. They want to offer us the, the feeling that we're not alone, the feeling that although life may be turned upside down, that they're not, and that they want to be our our foundation. So when we start to get anxious or we start to worry, and and the stability that we're used to having in life, when that kind of goes haywire, uh, it's an invitation to to trust in God. And uh, like I say, there are many, many examples in Scripture, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, people were facing all kinds of serious challenges and they turned to the Lord and the Lord strengthened them. And um, so in, in, in this, this crazy time, I feel like I'm living in a movie, huh? Uh, uh, and it reminds me when, when 9-11 happened and I had that same feeling, like this is not reality, uh, I'm living in some kind of a movie, um, but it, it's, it's reality. And so God is our strength. Uh, so let's stock up as other people are going to the stores and stocking up. Let's stock up on faith, hope, and love. And, and let our trust in God go viral. Uh, So another opportunity to realize that life here on this earth, um, it doesn't have a lot of certainties. huh? If I would have told you last month, you know, this month, uh, uh, you know, the stock market is going to go crazy. Uh, Schools will be closed. Your kids will be at your house. Uh, Your businesses might be struggling. If I'd have said that last month, you would have went, yeah, right. Um, but, you know, life is very precarious. Um, and I, I guess maybe God doesn't want us to be too comfortable uh, here on this earth. And so here's a chance to focus on heaven. Uh, here's a chance to, to focus on Jesus. And I think another element uh, I know in, in my own life, my, my two elements for coping with things are faith and a sense of humor. You know, and and a sense of humor. I'm certainly not implying that we should laugh at people that are suffering, but a sense of humor. Uh, on Facebook, a priest friend of mine, he says we have a new recipe for holy water at our parish. He says we put two thirds blessed water and one third bleach. <laughs> So we, we pray and we try to laugh. And the laugh is not, certainly not anything negative on those suffering. But maybe we can keep it lighthearted because we know that ultimately God will prevail. So let, let's put our trust in God. And uh, this is another opportunity, you know, rather than this being some kind of a tragedy, Maybe we see it as an opportunity to say, God is my true security. That the stuff in this life can come and go very quickly. But, uh, but God is our security. Um, so Jesus, bless the sick, bless those that have died, bless those in the medical field. And may, may this be an opportunity to renew our trust.